When are you going to actually do something about what working people in Wisconsin need? You're going to give away three billion dollars to Fox. I have a motion on there the table. There is nothing to go whatsoever session, that gives you the credibility to give away our taxpayer dollars. Protesters interrupt an important step in the state's $3 billion deal with Foxconn. The Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation approved the contract behind closed doors today. That historic deal will be signed this Friday at SC Johnson and Racine. Ben Jordan live in Madison with more on what this means for taxpayers moving forward. Ben. Charles, the 8-2 to two vote approving this Foxconn contract essentially means it is a done deal as far as Wisconsin is, is concerned. As you mentioned, Governor Walker will be signing the contract on Friday. Then it goes to Foxconn executives for their final approval. Here's a look inside the Weedick boardroom earlier this afternoon where tensions were high before leaders motioned to move to a closed session. Weedick CEO Mark Hogan says that was the plan all along. Earlier today, we got a sneak peek at the contract. A major change is that all $2.85 billion in taxpayer incentives is tied to job requirements. By 2022, for example, Foxconn hopes to fulfill its goal of having 13,000 employees at the manufacturing plant. The state requires Foxconn's plant in Racine County to have, have at least 5,000 full-time employees by then and a minimum of 10,000 employees at year 10 of the contract. Now, there are clawbacks written into the contract for the state to get money back if Foxconn doesn't meet these requirements. Foxconn CEO Terry Go is so confident he's personally guaranteeing a poor portion of that out of his own pocket if these job targets aren't met. Having somebody personally guarantee something uh, is, is significant and uh, to have Terry personally guarantee this uh, of, of the magnitude that it is, um, I think it really speaks to the level of commitment and confidence that he has that this is going to be a great investment, not just, not just for him but for the state of Wisconsin as well. I think we need to be accountable for taxpayer dollars, and I think $3 billion into one industry that's prone to technological changes uh, is too much. The contract does not provide clawbacks after the 15-year deal. That means if Foxconn decides to fully automate operations in year 2033, there would be no repercussions for going from 13,000 employees down to zero. Now Hogan says he doesn't see that happening. Live in Madison, Ben Jordan. Today's TMJ4. Another big step in this process. All right, thanks.